Hello, we're talking about the mounts today. We talk about some positive or negative aspects, just about the Mercury, Apollo, Saturn and Jupiter today. I shall bring up the slides for you. So we'll start with the Mercury mount, which is beneath the pinky. And for positive aspects of that, it should be slightly developed, a little bit puffy without being overly puffy. So that shows the ability for communication in business or relationships. It shows how well you connect with others, as well as the amount of mental capacity and ideas. Positive aspects are, can be uh, some vertical lines on there, but not too many. If there's lots and lots of vertical lines or crisscrossing lines, that's like a grill, then that's more of a negative aspect. So that can point to nervousness or deceitfulness or um, just overdoing things. The person might be working too hard. A cross on there can show problems in business or communication and can be a sign of dishonesty as well. So that's the Mercury Mount. Let's move on to the Apollo Mount. Positive aspects of Apollo show warmth, loyalty and a versatile, adaptable person. They're usually quite social. If this mount is puffy, the person is a social, happy, lucky person. Negative aspects, as before, are crosses or grills. A cross, for instance, on the Apollo Mount can show a loss of reputation or frustration in the pursuit of success. So there's an obstacle there, and that's what that stands for. So positive aspects, it's okay to have a couple of vertical lines on there. One or two vertical lines is good. Too many lines, it's showing that it's um, overuse. So slightly negative can point to gambling or paying too much attention to appearances now sometimes it is sort of shifted over i'll get some yellow here sometimes it shifts over the mount is sort of in between so it's not actually i'll get the red the mount sort of shifts over this way so it's kind of half under the Saturn finger. So it's sometimes difficult. Which one is it? Is it the Apollo or is it the Saturn? It's usually the Apollo. And what happened is it shows that the creative side of the personality is um, quite serious. They take their creativity very seriously. And usually when the mount is shifted over to under the Saturn, giving that serious quality, there is a strong Apollo line present, which is a success line as well. So someone who is creative usually have success lines, one or two rising lines up to the Apollo finger. And in those cases, that mount is underneath the Saturn slightly. So that's a good marking of a creative artistic person. Next. We are talking about that Saturn that we mentioned before. So the Saturn mount and the finger represent your boundaries. It's in the middle of the hand. It is the balancing force of the psyche, which aids rational thought. So negative aspects to Saturn can reveal pessimism or overly serious nature and things such as um, depression, etc. So negative aspects of Saturn are slightly different to all the other mounts. It's actually ideal to have a fairly flat mount of Saturn because the Saturn has some negative qualities to it in all the seriousness and responsibilities. If that mount is overly developed, it's showing that those qualities are quite strong. 
And it's good if the person is being responsible and they have um, many responsible duties, for instance. And so it shows that they are organized and dependable. But if there are negative aspects to it, that can point to, um, yes, moodiness or gloominess and such. So obviously you would look at other parts of the hand. You would look at the headline and compare the headline or the lifeline, heart line, all the other lines to see what other markings there may be present. So if there is a cross, I'll get my little pin. I'm sure you know what a cross looks like, but I like drawing. So a cross on the Mount of Saturn is said to show some kind of a challenging situation, maybe even some kind of a tragedy. So it's not a good place to have a cross. But be careful that it's not just some coincidental lines coming from somewhere else and happens to land under there. That's not a cross. The cross has to stand on its own. It's not, it's not a part of um, other lines such as the girdle of Venus, etc. So you've got to be careful when you're looking at the crosses. Next. Lastly, we're going to quickly talk about the Mount of Jupiter. So this is the one that I see that's mostly well developed because people have a sense of their self. They are confident, they have a good ego, they may be religious or they just have a strong character. So the Jupiter should be slightly puffy and that should be well developed. So it can too share the space partially beneath the Saturn finger as well. So that shows um, the person takes their ambitions seriously and they have a hands-on ability to achieve their goals. Positive aspects of Jupiter are charismatic personality, ambitious, someone who is a good leader, practical person. They have um, power, meaning power meaning influence. So they're influential person and they're very proud person. And those are the same meanings for the finger as well as the mount. So if you're looking at negative aspects, a cross is not one here. Traditionally, a cross on Jupiter is said to show a happy marriage. So why, why it's totally opposite to all the other mounts is more than likely because it's, it's enhancing these qualities. And for some reason, they say that that is depicting a happy marriage. But whether that's true or not, I don't know. I might have had one once. <laughs> okay, so there's a little bit of information for you. I hope that you're happy with that. And let me know if you have any questions. And let me know if you want to learn about something specific. I'm happy to take requests and do um, any new videos for you. Catch you later. Bye.